A consumer fraud class action suit against Trump is now more likely, based on his using deceptive claims of voter fraud, to swindle his gullible donors to support his official election defense fund. In reality, and unknown to those donors, that money is not going to fight phony election fraud at all. It's going to a PAC that Trump created to line his pockets after he leaves office and to the RNC. And while Trump may try to claim executive privilege or First Amendment privilege as a defense, neither of those allow him to straight up lie to turn a buck or hear hundreds of millions of them in fake fundraising appeals for a phony cause. This is not late night sham wow or the miracle pillow infomercials, Mr. Trump. This is fraud. This fraud not only supports a civil class action, but also possible criminal mail fraud prosecution once he leaves office should the new Biden Justice Department pursue it. There is already a pending prosecution against Steve Bannon, Trump's former White House chief of staff, for just such fundraising fraud involving we build the wall. And to answer the question, no, they didn't. Just last week, a Republican venture capitalist suckered out of $2.5 million in the days after the election to support a pro-Trump PAC called True the Vote and their alleged efforts to bring voter fraud suits in the battleground states, sued to get his money back after the PAC announced that they were withdrawing each and every one of those suits, but keeping the money. They cited barriers to advancing their argument whatever that means. I think that's code for our suits had no merit and the court saw right through them. When the PAC would only agree to repay half the money, he sued in state court for conversion and for breach of contract, but the better case for him is likely fraud. A future Trump class action against his fundraising fraud will have to get line as the New York Attorney General and Manhattan District Attorney continue to pursue Trump and his family for tax and mortgage fraud. If we're right, the creditors, such as the frauded donors, will be picking over the carcass of the Trump family assets in the coming years.